every one of us hates that annoying belly fat that won't seem to go away. You know what I mean, the muffin top, the protrusion over your low-rise jeans, the persistent bloating. Getting up the energy to do all those burpees, squats, and push-ups is something that a lot of us hate doing and probably wouldn't even do if there was an easier way to stay in shape. What if I told you there is an easier way? In this video, we'll break down the 10 simple ways and strategies of trimming down those extra pounds. So stay with us to number one so you can shed those pounds the easy way. Make sure to subscribe to our channel and click that bell icon. Now, without wasting any time, let's get straight into the video. So the first simple strategy is to use smaller plates for portion control. Mainly because with larger plates, the portions look smaller and your brain keeps on telling you that the plate looks empty. So what happens is that you have the urge to eat more. But by serving food in smaller plates, you can trick your mind into believing the plate is overloaded already. And by doing this, you can avoid overeating. This strategy works wonders. Eating a salad before having your main course meal might help suppress your appetite, making you feel fuller. Aside from that, you're getting loads of nutrients, minerals, and fiber, which in themselves have loads of nutritional value. So you're consuming more minerals and less fat. The main reason for overeating is not being mindful while we're eating. Multitasking, watching TV, playing on your phone are all distractions that cause you to eat more because you keep on eating without even realizing that you're eating more than you need to. Studies show that after you start eating, it takes 20 minutes or so before the brain begins to start sending out I'm full or I'm not hungry anymore signals that turn off the appetite. So set aside the distractions and savor your food. This powerful strategic weapon is known as intermittent fasting. I know this might be a little hard for someone who hasn't done this before, but it's easier than you think, and the benefits are not just for weight loss. It's proven that fasting twice in a week improves blood circulation in the body, helps eradicate laziness, eliminates minor diseases, regulates blood pressure, boosts metabolism, removes toxins from the body, extends lifespan, and the list goes on. Intermittent fasting has been a thing since the old ages, but studies are now showing the endless benefits of fasting, and they are really life-changing. Now, moving your body doesn't mean going to the gym and doing an intense workout. What we're talking about here are the small things that add up to have big impact. For example, using the stairs instead of the elevator or escalator or walking to the grocery store if you live close by, riding one of those ubiquitous e-scooters, or going for a scenic bike ride. Doing this, you might be burning a considerable number of calories and burning some fat without sweating. Surprisingly, this trick works wonders. Studies show that those who drank water before each meal lost 44% more weight compared to a group that did not drink water before each meal. So basically, once you drink a glass of water just before eating, it makes you feel fuller, and you'll end up eating according to your body needs only. How easy is that? Avoiding sugar is the easiest way to keep the weight off because the less weight you put on, the less you have to lose. It's a no-brainer. Here are some tips on cutting back your sugar intake. One, instead of putting sugar in your tea, coffee, cereal, sauces, drinks, etc., try not to put any at all, or at the very least, put less than you usually do to wean yourself off. It might take some getting used to, but in the end, you'll be consuming way less calories and your body will thank you. Two, eat low sugar fruits and incorporate them into your diet. Strawberries, peaches, blackberries, lemons, limes, honeydew, oranges, grapefruit, avocado. Three, stay away from processed foods. Four, instead of reaching for snacks like cake, donuts, ice cream, or pies, Try these alternatives. Dates, fresh fruit, Greek yogurt, or dark chocolate.
Another interesting strategy is chewing your food slowly. It's often said that chewing your food quickly leads to overeating. So chewing it slowly, gradually, and mindfully not only suppresses your hunger, but also allows your body to absorb all the nutrients from the food. And that's what you need, nutrients. Yep, you heard it right. Logically, a person who spends a huge time of his day sleeping is quite less likely to get hungry or having extra cravings throughout the day because the leading reason for obesity is overeating. So here's the seriously effortless and one of my favorite ways for weight loss, like just stay tucked in your soft, comfy bed accompanying your cute, furry teddy bear and keep losing weight. Ta-da! So last but not least, avoid soft drinks. Fulfill your thirst with water, lemon water, cucumber water, or maybe low-fat milk. If you get hungry between meals, try a glass of healthy and low-calorie vegetable juice to tide you over. Drinking soft drinks is literally one of the most destructive addictions that has developed in the mind of our people over the years, thanks to famous commercials which keep insisting us to buy one. Hmm... I know we said we'd give you 10 tips today to help you lose weight, but just for you, we've thrown in a bonus tip that we love. Ready? Okay, here it is. Eat a high-protein diet. Eating a high-protein breakfast could reduce cravings and calorie intake throughout the day and keep you feeling satiated longer. It will also help to kickstart your metabolism, and high-protein diets have also been known to reduce belly fat. So there were the top 10 simple ways of losing weight without doing much effort. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and also share it with your friends. We recommend you check out our previous videos on this channel and we will see you next time.